Hello everyone. I hope you are having an awesome day. I am back at you again with another DIY project. Now this is going to be um, a vase that I've done before, but it's just going to be more glammed up. I'm going to bling it out a lot more than I did the initial one. So um, I'm going to show you what you're going to need. You're going to need two of these beer glasses. These are very, very popular. It's wedding season. And uh, this might be a little hard to find, so check a couple of Dollar Trees. And this is really, really great for making wedding vases. So we're going to need two of these. You're also going to need one of these round, and I think this is in the candle section, uh, candle holder section, but one of these little round small vases, and that's the one that has the bling attached to it. Uh, around the top of it and I know you guys have seen this in the Dollar Tree before okay so this is what you're going to need because it's a specific size and then you're also going to need this um, cut glass base not sure this is in the Dollar Tree right now this is was in the Dollar Tree during the holidays but you can use something similar okay and you're also going to need your Krylon looking glass absolutely love this spray paint I'm out but this is Krylon Looking Glass, or you can use Rust-Oleum Mirrored Effect. It does the exact same thing, okay? Alright, so what you want to do is start off by taking your pieces outside to spray paint them. So you're going to need to apply the uh, Mirrored Effect on both of these beer glasses, as well as the cut glass bowl and the smaller bowl all right so you'll need to go outside and spray all of this with the uh looking glass and if you don't know how to use this paint i have several videos that shows you how to use it and i will link them in the description bar below all right so we are back and just to save time i've already spray painted these so your bowl should be completely spray painted as well as the two beer um, beer glasses you should have your rust-oleum effect on them and you can also spray paint this it doesn't have to be that great because we're going to apply a bling mirrored treatment to this as well okay so what we're going to do since everything is already spray painted we've got our pieces spray painted we're going to need to attach all these with e6000 but i'm going to set that to the side and we got to work on this part first now what we're going to do is we're going to be using these amazing mirrored tiles. And I'm going to get up a little bit closer so you can see them. Alright everyone, so this is what this tile looks like. It is amazing. And this is the 5x5 five five millimeter. So they are micro, very, very small mirrors. This also, I believe, comes in a a 20 millimeter or a 10 millimeter you want the small ones okay so I will link where I got this I got it off of Amazon so I'll link it and this is it and I'm gonna get a little bit closer you can see how small they are this is awesome I will be using a lot of this to bling out my my other projects okay so this is it all right, so now that you've gotten a good look at the material that we're going to be using, which is these micro mirrors, um, a way to cut this, we're going to be cutting this into single sections. And usually what I do to cut this into single sections is to fold over one row. Just fold it over with your hand very gently because you can't crack these mirrors, so just be careful. So just fold it over and then I took a very small micro scissors. These are by Westcott and you can get these from Walmart. And I just take my scissors and I cut one row. Okay. And I just kind of get to one point and then I cut it on the other side. So we're going to be cutting rows off of this. So if you want to make things easier for yourself, uh, I would just take a whole section of this and just start cutting rolls off of it and line them all up so that you'll be ready to apply them, okay? We're going to take our smaller bowl that we just, you know, spray some Rust-Oleum on real quick. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because the entire thing is going to be covered over. I mean, if you want to make sure that it has complete coverage with the uh, Rust-Oleum Merit Effect, uh, do that. I just ran out of paint, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to go row by row. 
and we're going to take the adhesive backing off. We're going to take the backing off so we can get to the adhesive. And I just take my finger and just kind of pull on it a little bit. Okay, so there you have it. And this is awesome because the adhesive on this is really good. Just be careful with this because it will fold over on itself and get stuck together. And what we're going to do is we're going to start applying these mirrored pieces to our face. And I'm, I'm applying one right now, right up to the top. Okay, so if you can see that. And then you have to take your time and just adjust it to make sure that all of the little uh, mirrored pieces are straight. Okay, you see that? See how easy that is? And I love the fact that it's an adhesive. You don't have to apply adhesive. It sticks really, really well. So I have some other random pieces, and I'll just show you. You want to go ahead and, again, cut rows of one. And just keep layering this thing, and just keep going. And what's going to happen is... All of this is not going to line up perfectly like it would on a square glass. So you do have to take your time and make plenty of adjustments so that you can get it as, as flush as possible. Especially when you start going around this section right here. So I'm just randomly applying pieces. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you this. Once you start going around the round section of the bowl, that's when you're going to have to start breaking your pieces up and making them smaller. You won't be able to just cut one strip and go all the way around like you would if it was square. You will have to break it into smaller sections and sometimes even one little section so that you can kind of work it around the curve in the bowl, okay? So you will have to spend a little bit of time working these pieces around the bowl alright and you will need to cut them down to very small sections like that or even one piece alright and just take your time all of it is not going to be flush you will have to space some of them out as you go around the bowl so that they will fit alright and I'm not going to do that on this video because it would make this video incredibly long so again you're just basically keep Basically pressing the pieces down using smaller pieces, sometimes one piece, and just getting them in there so that they fit around the curve of the, the bowl, all right, or the vase, the round vase. And sometimes you will need to just use one piece. Sometimes you can use four pieces. Sometimes you can only use two pieces because you're really just trying to line everything up in a curve so that's what that would look like okay and you just keep going you will probably end up using about I'm gonna say you're gonna probably end up using about three sheets of this to cover this entire bowl so when you're done the bowl is gonna look like this it's going to be a disco ball <laughs> but it is gorgeous this is what it's going to look like and you will have to take your time putting all of those strips on here okay this is probably going to take you probably about an hour all right if you take your time maybe an hour and a half and uh, here's a little section on the bottom that I need to finish up and again I'm just taking small pieces I believe this is like maybe two and then this is three pieces so I'm basically just taking I'm basically just taking smaller pieces and pushing them up against each other, pushing them up against the other glass, okay? And then pressing down so that the adhesive can really hold. So that's basically how you cover this. And um, I think it looks amazing. It looks awesome. And yeah, this is nothing but a disco ball. But when we put everything together, it's going to look magical, okay? So now what we're going to do, since we already have our vase completely covered with the micro uh, mirrors, we're going to put it aside and we're going to start to assemble our vase. So basically, this is going to be the bottom of your vase. And uh, this is going to be your the base of the um, bling vase that we're making. And you're going to attach one piece of this with 
E6000, okay? So I'm going to simulate this because I'm going to use these pieces again. So I don't want this face to be permanent. So I'm going to simulate what you would do. So you want to take your first beer glass. Turn it upside down. Apply your, actually just kind of sort of measure where this should be. Just kind of get a good look at where you should apply your E6000 so that the vase, uh, this part of your vase is going to sit straight on top of the uh, cut glass bowl. Okay, so once you have attached your um, beer glass to the cut glass bowl using your E6000, you can go ahead and take a leveler and sit it on top to see if it levels properly. Mine doesn't really level because I used hot glue so I had to attach it quickly and I'm going to soak this in water and detach it. So uh, mine is not permanent but if you're doing it permanently you can go ahead and use your leveler just to make sure that it's sitting on the glass properly and that your, um, your centerpiece is going to be straight. Okay, and you will have enough time to adjust because the E6000 is great. It gives you enough time to adjust it before it gets tacky and you can't move it. So you've got a little bit of room to do that. Okay, but I'm just going to go ahead and continue with the, with the project because like I said, it's simulated. Alright, so once you attach your two pieces, you wait uh, again about 14 hours. So next you want to go ahead and apply your third piece, which is our little mirrored bowl and you want to use your E6000 so you want to put a generous amount of E6000 here um, and you have a nice flat surface to do that with and then go ahead and attach your third piece. Now you want to wait about a couple of hours and let this dry um, probably again another 14 hours is always best to wait between um, putting each piece on, it's always best to wait a couple of hours and attach each piece separately so that you know that it's completely bonded and you're not going to have any issues. Make one part stronger, the other part stronger, and then the last part stronger by waiting uh, in between attaching each piece, okay? Especially with E6000. So now we've got our last piece to attach, which is the top of the vase. And once again, we're going to apply a nice generous amount of E6000 um, onto the top of our um, mirrored section. And what I like about this small base is that it does have a little bit of room up at the top. So it's not super narrow like the other ones. Uh, it does have a little bit of a ledge at the top, which is great. I'm using some um, foam tape for mines. But, of course, you would use E6000 to make yours permanent. And uh, the top of this should hold nicely because of that ledge. So once you do that, go ahead and apply your top piece. And then wait the 24-hour uh, interval for everything to set. Okay, guys. So I just eyeballed this thing and I was able to get it leveled. But if you want to use a professional leveler, then uh, that makes sense as well. Moving on to our next step, we have attached all of our pieces using E6000. And now uh, we get to do the fun part, which is to finish embellishing it. So what I'm going to be using is this um, diamond wrap. And this diamond wrap is really, really gorgeous. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And I want to show you what that looks like. This is what the bling looks like up close. And this is really, really pretty. And once again, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's $15. But if you go when they have their ribbon and trim on sale, you can get it for $7.50. I've cut two pieces of bling trim. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just put it on the very bottom of the vase where it's more leveled and not at the top because the top comes out too wide and it's just really hard to add it to the top. So I'm going to add it towards the bottom of the vase uh, using some hot glue. So now what we're going to be doing is using this adhesive diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree and I have cut a couple of pieces off already. 
and and I love this stuff too. As soon as it comes into the Dollar Tree, it is gone. I tried to hide some and somebody found it and got it. I was so pissed off. But anyway, I'm going to use some of this to kind of just put right around the bottom area because I tape mines. So, but if you have some glue showing from the E6000, this is a good way to hide it by using this uh, adhesive diamond wrap. And this stuff is awesome. Anything that comes with adhesive on it, I love it because it's just, I don't have to use E6000. I don't have to use hot glue. I can just peel and stick and I love that. And this is a pretty good adhesive. Um... It feels like it sticks really, really well. So I'm just, like I said, adding on some uh, bling to the bottom of our vase because this is a super duper bling vase. Okay, and it wraps around nicely. Okay, and it's going to kind of hide the tape uh, that I've got going on on here. So... And I'm also going to take two rows of this and also add it to the very bottom of the bowl. Okay guys, so we are done. And again, I used three rows of adhesive diamond wrap uh, right where the vase connected to the beer bottle connected to the cut glass vase. So I used three rows right there just to cover up the tape or if you get sloppy with the E6000, you can cover that up nicely. And I used two rows on the bottom, okay? So now everything is super duper blinked out. It looks great. It looks amazing. And then the last piece that we have is I actually have this little uh, rhinestone medallion. And this is actually a Christmas ornament that I got from Hobby Lobby. But you can use any type of brooch, rhinestone brooch, whatever you want. And I'm going to go ahead and just try to find my center, try to find the spot that looks the best to me. And then I'm going to apply it right to our vase. Okay, guys, so this is the centerpiece with the floral arrangement on it. We are done. It came out awesome, amazing, perfect. Anybody's looking for something that's really over the top and just gives you a lot of bling and your client wants something that, is, that has a lot of bling, this would be it. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like the video, share it, subscribe, and also you can follow me on one hip sister at Instagram.com and also check out my Facebook page. Alright guys, I will see you in the next DIY video. Take care. Bye-bye.